Welcome back to another in the kitchen recipe. Today we're making Dr. Pepper ribs. So you're going to need a pack of ribs. The recipe I'm going to link below because there are some instructions that are a little bit different. They're using a three to four pound rack of ribs and the recipe calls for three to four pounds. I am using a little over one pound of boneless ribs. This is all about personal preference. So you need boneless uh, ribs and garlic powder, some pepper, you need some barbecue sauce. Even the recipe calls for sweet baby rays. This is delicious. And of course you're gonna need Dr. Pepper. That's all your ingredients. And of course you're gonna need your crock pot. Okay, we have changed our angle to our crock pot. I've already sprayed it with non-cooking uh, spray. That, and when it comes to your ribs, you're just gonna use literally any uh, size of ribs that will fit in your crock pot. One pound, two pound, three, four. Um, like I said, the recipe calls for up to four, but that is completely personal. Um, so you're gonna start this process by starting to dump all your ingredients into the crock pot. So you're gonna start with your ribs. I'm gonna start with pepper. Now the recipe calls for one fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm just gonna add this. And I'm not even, I probably won't put one fourth of a teaspoon to be honest. But just give them a good pepper. And the recipe also calls for one other optional ingredient and that's a liquid smoke to give it a smoky kind of flavor like it's been out on the grill or the smoker all day. I am opting out of that option. Just a side note. Now it calls for one and a half teaspoons of garlic. Once again, I'm just going to add this. Okay, I got your garlic in there. It calls for one cup of barbecue sauce. Once again, I'm just going to eye this as well. I think that's pretty typical with a lot of cooks that's been cooking for a while. I'll probably use a three-fourths of a cup of barbecue anyways. Last ingredient, but the best ingredient, is the Dr. Pepper. You're going to need 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper. Now you can use less if you want. I am only using one pound of ribs. I probably should use a little less. This is our liquid. I'm just going to give this a quick mix just so everything's mixed together. Quick recipe side note. If you don't have any Dr. Pepper on hand, you're completely out and you really want to try this recipe and you have everything else shown, Coke or root beer works great for this recipe as well. Place your lid on. We're turning our crock pot to low for eight hours. So during this eight hour cook time, do not open your lid. Do not open the lid on this recipe. So we'll see you in eight hours for our final look as we serve these up. Welcome back eight hours later here is our ribs done it's a bit dark but i'm gonna plate these here are the ribs plated on my cute little turtle serving tray i love this tray um these smell delicious they're ready to go you can add additional barbecue sauce if you want i'm serving these with with homemade mashed potatoes peas and rolls they look so yummy so hope you guys will try this recipe out for yourself let me know if you're going to leave me some comments below check the description box out for additional kitchen links and stay tuned for more in the kitchen videos don't forget to like the video comment subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already